So, welcome to this week's edition of Reviewing Boku no Hero Academia. No, fuck you. You hate me. Fuck you. Was it because I somehow called... Fuck Horikoshi. The brother's very big... Fuck it. Set? I hate it. I hate it so much. That description is terrible. Points for me! Oh, it's such a broad... I, I want to say no, but I can't because he made it broad like that. It's so dumb! When she admits love, she can power people up via her love? It's so stupid because it's so vague on how it works. Like, is it the quirk drug kicking in, basically? Is it... Obviously, it's physical. It physically powers them up. But does it affect their quirk? Are they more intelligent? What the fuck? Even here, on the wiki, it says, LaBrava's quirk allows her to grant a tremendous boost in power to the person she loves most. The quirk has its limits, and it can only be used once per day. What is this tremendous boost in power? Is it just the physical, or is it more than that? Because we never saw Gentle use that, like, gentle sandwich technique before. And that was, like, what? Five different layers of a barrier? At the same time? Six, I think. Six. He's only ever done one at a time. So, what would happen if Gentle got the quick enhancing drug, and then LaBrava says, I love you! I think you should think the opposite. What happens if LaBrava gets it? Fucking Gentle's basically going Super Saiyan at this point. You saw his hair. He's, like, leaking aura everywhere. <laughs> the only difference it's, is that his hair hasn't changed color. Oh, wow, yeah. How... Even his mustache and beard are on end. How crazy would that be if LaBrava would get the quirk? Not only do I think it would increase that whatever boost she's giving by a multiplier, it'd probably increase the time frame that she can use it. Yeah, because it just seemed to be, like, a few minutes at most. Mm -hmm. And here's what I'm not sure about, right? I'm not sure if Izuku was lying or not about Gentle being the toughest one he'd fought so far. Or was that just to make him feel better about himself? That's why I'm not sure if he was lying or not. Was it just to make him feel better, or was he being honest? Because Izuku is the guy that's going to think of other people before himself. Even if that's in, like, the emotional standpoint. Because, I mean, he faced down, he had to go 100%, and only by basically cheating to fight Overhaul. I don't feel like this guy's got much on Overhaul. Even with even with what we call lover mode going on. Which is a dumb name. Oh yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. So is this the end of the gentle arc? Well, here's... He has here's, another trick up his sleeve. I mean, I'm looking at the wiki now and I honestly don't see anything else here. It, it literally cuts off here and that's it. Because I forgot to watch the preview it's just the uh the start of the school festival that's it oh. you get to see what they look like and what their costumes are that's about it so do you think anything else related to the school festival will happen we have three episodes i was gonna say there's three episodes left. i'm going to assume the next one at the school festival there's probably a wrap-up to whatever's going on at the school festival after that one and then Episode 25 will probably lead us into the next season for whenever that drops. Probably 2021, maybe? Or late 2020? I, I doubt late 2020, only because, like, the last time I think it was, like, a year. So I want to say early 2021, maybe summer at, uh, at the latest. Um, they've also been out of people because they were working on that movie. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like the, I like the dialogue back and forth between Gentle and Izuku, where they're both like, we're doing this for others. This isn't for our own volition. And even Gentle isn't that bad of a person. He just goes about it through shitty means. And that backstory we got clips of is actually really kind of sad. Yeah. He tries to do the right thing, fucks up, and it literally causes his family to basically hate him, and he leaves. Like, I don't think they kicked him out. I think he left because of it. 
So he's misremembering his family hating him? No, I don't think he's misremembering it. I think they kicked him out. Like, I don't think they kicked him out so much as he... What, what I got out of those scenes was that Gentle felt so bad about it and his family was so upset with him that he left. I don't think they outright kicked him out. I think he did it because he felt so bad about it. Okay. We also got LeBrava's backstory. Yes. Also, I've noticed now with um, the ending, some of those pictures are making some more sense. Like the one does have Lebra little LeBrava in the background, just peeking in through um, through the doorway. And the other one with like all the tea and stuff that's being poured or the cafe like people. One of those is young gentle. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, one of those is 18 year old gentle. And the other one is like middle school LeBrava, like peeking in from the background. And LeBrava is, I think her description said like 110 centimeters or something. Mm -hmm. Look that up. She's three foot seven. <laughs> she's not even four foot tall. Also, if you didn't notice, she's born on Valentine's Day. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, that's a little thing. She's born on Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. Makes sense with the quirk, even if it's a very shitty explanation for it. Points for me! Fuck off. I don't care. Horikoshi, that was a terrible choice. Horikoshi, thank you for the points. Terrible choice. <clears throat> I get the theme, but at least describe the like quirk better. Especially because it says the effects vary based on how much she loves the person. Like, does that... Does that mean how strong it is? Or does that mean, like, the actual thing it does is different? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. And I don't know. Maybe it's just bad translation from Japan. I'm not sure. It, but it's terrible. Like, it, it drives me nuts that it's not clarified. Because now it just means you can do whatever you want. Fuck it. Who cares? Because... A few hours ago, you sent me a message on Facebook that says, I hate you. I hate you so much. Yes. Because at that moment, I discovered and got the description of what it was in the anime. I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> and, and immediately after that, I quick went to the wiki to be like, is it clarified better here? Because now that I know what it was, I don't care if I look. It's not described better. It's shit. <laughs> But I did essentially call it, even though I had no clue I was calling it. I'd also like to point out that I think it was last week's um, preview where it said you need to use that thing you've been working on with All Might. I don't think that ever happened here. Not that it like told us or showed us that I could see. It, it never showed him jumping to 20% for half a second. Right. So I feel like that was a lie? Because the fight's over. Well, there was that very slight clue in the preview for this episode where, like, the Brava's love and love was capitalized. Mm -hmm. At first, I was well, thinking, is that a typo? And I'm like, wait, no. That could be her quirk. Eric Cork is literally called Love, which is fucking annoying. It should have been something else. It's a bad name for it. It's a terrible, it's an even worse description. Because so wait, it's so broad. So wait, let me let me just see if I understand this. The Brava is Ray Bien from Dragon Ball. I mean, she doesn't have a transformation that makes her uglier. But she does fight with love. She doesn't have a love cannon. See, that would have been better if her power-up involved her doing that stupid love heart cannon shit. That would have been cooler. I wonder how she fights if she would actually fight. You know, actually, I would have to imagine that she'd have to have some kind of, like, boost. So, some kind of, like, a, a gear to help her out. Um, there was that point where we got some flashbacks with her. And um, I love the fact that she's a shut-in. 
Like, we zoom in on her, and she's just got trash bags all over the place in her room, and she's, like, staring at her computer. Oh. Until she finds gentle. Um, But we get the flashback of those two as they're going through some of their shenanigans. I love the point where we're, like, just focusing on the cops talking to each other, and those two are just back in the bushes doing, like, the slow creep, like, are totally not here, man! We're totally not here! That was like, great. Like, the quick, gotta sneak away. Gotta sneak away movements. And I'm like, that... That's great. That's a good one. They would totally do that. I half expected them to bond over tea, but it doesn't... Well, they kind of did. There were points where they did that, when, like, LaBrava first showed up and he was asking her how she would actually help him. There was that. There was the moment where he, like, gave her the cup of tea, I think, when she was just, um, like, feeling bad about herself, and then he comes in and find, uh, gives her her name. Well, I mean, not, like, bond over tea because I think like, that's more bonding through tea. It's like, hey, I'm a big tea fan myself. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. I kind of assumed with her being a hacker that it would have to be through his videos. I didn't think it would be a tea thing. Okay, but maybe like him taking her in, like, does did Gentle see more of himself in her? Maybe not, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe, well, because Gentle wanted to be a hero, too, at the start, right? Maybe right. this was part of that shining through, was to help her, she needed someone to accept her, and he was willing to do that. He's not an evil person, even though he, you know, goes to do noble things through evil means. And granted, most of those are fairly petty. So you... Because they're small-time stuff. So you looked ahead... And found out he doesn't really show up in any future installments. Yeah, nothing is going on as far as I can tell. Now, granted, I'm not reading the entirety of, like, the synopsis of the story at all in this. But as far as I can see, just briefly breezing over this, at least La Brava doesn't show up again at this point um, in the manga anyway. There's nothing else that's listed here for her. Anything about Gentle? Don't know. Didn't look at Gentles. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Okay, because I could see Deku finding some sort of commodity in Gentle. Honestly, I think Gentle deserves a second chance. The man should be allowed to be a hero. Yes, he fucked up. But that doesn't mean, like, I'd love to know why he kept failing his provisional license exam. Like, what did he do that he kept messing up? Yeah, it would be interesting to say that because was it his fault or was it their fault? Or even was it just the matchups he was getting were terrible? You know, that luck of the draw being bad. Hmm. Because for all we know, it might not have been, you know, the mental part of it. It might have been the practical part he kept failing. Or maybe he was like Majin Buu and, and failed the... Written exam. Uh, in what context? Because he outright fails in the manga, or if you watch the anime, he falls asleep. Oh, yeah. I think I was mixing them up because you were telling me he failed the written exam. Mm-hmm. He outright fails. Can't even spell his own name. Poor boo. <laughs> but I guess that's it for this. Oh, and... There's going to be some beauty pageant? You didn't... They mentioned that before. A couple episodes back, actually. I yeah, they mentioned there's a beauty pageant that. thing. Yeah, they mentioned it. Well, I'm pretty sure we even made fun of the person that was first because of those ugly-ass eyelashes that are, like, three feet long. Come to think of it, now I do remember it. For whatever reason. Like, are her eyelashes her quirk? Maybe. I just realized something. What? Bobo Bo has to exist in this universe. The fist of the half... nose hair is a quirk. I was half thinking that. The fist of the nose hair is a quirk. <laughs> All the other bullshit is other people's quirks. His is the nose hair. <laughs> oh, it fits so perfectly. And like reality bending quirk to make... All that shit he does. What, in what, one of the, like, Don Patch is just, like, one of his is fusion or whatever, and that's how we get, like, Bobo Patch or whatever. 
Oh my god. I... And he just looks weirdly like that because fuck it. I miss Bobo. <laughs> Oh, blah, 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 stupid, but I love it. It's Ap- so dumb. Apparently, like, right when this TV season ended, the next story arc would involve Bobo Bo's siblings. Oh, God. All of which has different body, hair-themed powers, and each had B vowel repeated seven times as their name. One of them has to have the ability of, like, chest hair armor. I think one of them did have chest hair. Another one would be, like, back hair wings. Uh, and his sister is boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Poor Beauty. Beauty would just be like, what the hell is this? Yeah... We may have to do Bobo for the anime podcast. Maybe at some point. I just don't know when, because that's a longer series. Even if we just breeze over like one major arc and just be like, Hey, Ryan, remember this? That might work. Or just, like, cover it briefly in the whole, like, This guy has a power of nose hair. And this is Jelly Jiggler. He has a handkerchief. <laughs> it's Lucky. This is soft, and he may or may not have shit for a hat. <laughs> this is Torpedo Girl. She has legs. <laughs> but going back to my hero, I guess that wrapped it up. Yeah, they get caught. Um, They give up. They get taken away together. Um, who knows what happens to them after that? And to make it easier on them, Gentle pushes Deku away so that he doesn't seem to be involved with trying to beat up a hero. You know what? Yes. He's, he, he uses what le- is left of love mode to knock Deku away. So that way it seems more like they got lost and got found out there. He does say he's turning himself into UA, but it seems more like in this in this situation he got himself lost with her rather than like is actually trying to break in. Because he's like, oh, I tripped over a pebble. And I somehow wound up here. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. So I'd be interested to know where the story is going to go from here. I'm not really sure. It's just a matter of finishing the school festival, making, you know, Ari a little happy, and then, you know, drop hints to the next season. That's really it. I don't think there's much more. Yeah, so I guess... I'm super curious if we're going to figure out where that giant is that we saw at, like, the start of this arc. Yeah, that was going to fight Gran Torino. Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm super curious what he's up to and if we're going to get to see a shot of him going somewhere. Okay. Because I feel like the League of Villains is going to have a hard time hiding that guy. He's pretty big. No, no, no. He's so big, he's almost impossible to say. I mean, well, I guess Compress could hide him. Because they just compress him down to a freaking bead. Oh, yeah. So technically, Compress could hide him. I'd be curious. That's great, actually. I just realized Compress is just a Pokeball. <laughs> he just turns people into Pokeballs. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I guess our little hatred spout is now over. Yeah, but seriously, fuck you. Oh, should I get in the corner? No, get the hell out of the alleyway. Get, fuck you. Oh, well, catch everybody next week when we're friends again. We'll see.